Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Magic Holder and welcome back to another video. This video I'll be showing you my crosshair settings and how to set your crosshair to look like mine or even similar to mine, whatever you prefer like. So let's get right into it. The first things first, crosshair color. I prefer to have green because I used to play CSGO a lot and the green is just a nice color to see in my eyes. It doesn't intervene with any of the other colors in the game. I've seen a lot of people use cyan because it is also a really good color, but this is all a matter to personal preference. Okay, the outline's on. Most of the people like to have these off, but as I'm showing you in this clip, when you have the outlines off, you can barely see your crosshair next to some walls because of the colors. If you keep it on, you can clearly see all of your crosshair and exactly where it is, so I love to keep this setting to on. Second thing, the outline opacity and thickness. I like to have it at one and one. The outline opacity is pretty much how your outlines are actually seeable, if they're seeable or not. Let's not mess with that. I have my center dot to off. It's pretty much pointless because you want to keep enemies' heads in your crosshair. And if you have a center dot, you won't be able to see it. So I like to keep it at off. Center dot opacity at 1 and dot thickness at 1. This is just pointless because we already turned the center dot off. Now, fade crosshair with firing gear. I have this set on. It just removes the top little part of your crosshair when you're spraying for a long range. For a long time. And that's what helps you control your recoil better. Show spectator player's crosshair. I keep this set on to see other people's crosshairs. So I can just tell them to fix it if they have a default crosshair. Now let's move to inner lines. Inner line opacity, I have it at 1 because I want to clearly see my crosshair. The inner line length is 4. I kind of like this because it's small but not too small and not too big. It's perfect to see everything around the crosshair and perfect for setting enemies off. The inner line thickness is 2. Now this is the thickness of the crosshair. You can set this to any you want but I prefer to keep it at 1 or 2. Because those are the best numbers and will get you the best result. The inner line offset is a 3. I like to keep it at 3. It gives a nice little neat space that I can use to put the enemy's head in. And it's not too big. Because if it's too big, you're going to be unprecise on long ranges. And if it's too small, you're going to be unprecise in short ranges. And this is a good, good gap. So if I put it out, you'll see that the gap increases. And you don't want to have it like this. And not like this. So 3 is a nice little neat number that could work out for you and works out for most of the people. Now movement error off, firing error off. This just, I put these off because when you're moving, if you have this on, your cross will start spreading. And I don't like that. Firing error also off. When I fire, I don't want my crosshair to start spreading. I can control my recoil way better when it's static. Now let's move to outer lines. You want to keep all of these at zero and both of these settings at off because you don't want to have outer lines. They're just going to make your game 10 times worse because nobody wants to have those four other lines on top of their crosshair which just annoys everyone and you cannot even aim with it. Now that's it for my crosshair. I'll be linking some other pros like Shroud and Skadoodle's crosshair in the description below. Also, I started live streaming on Twitch TV yesterday, and I'll be streaming right after this video. So make sure to go check out my Twitch TV to see how this crosshair actually works, and is it actually worth to have it. Also, thank you for watching the video. Leave a like and subscribe. Make sure to follow me on Twitch for live content, and I'll be making sure to upload at least two videos a week of Valorant on YouTube. So thank you guys again for watching. I'll see you in the next one.